Magandang hapon po, Tita Ingrid, and welcome to Art to Art. Thank you very much, Lisa. Magandang hapon. At unang-una gusto ko sanang batiin kayo ng happy, happy birthday. <laughs> Maraming At, um, salamat po. At swerte ko naman na itong araw ang napili para sa interview ko mm -hmm. at itong sharing natin sa Art to Art. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much and happy birthday. Yes, and I understand it's also the birthday of your youngest daughter? Yes, and with your permission, may I greet my of daughter, course, Cassie. Please. Happy birthday, Tat, wherever you are. Uh -huh. Thank and you, Lisa, for allowing me that. And uh, of course, nakikinig ang mga uh, ang mga nasa home province ninyo in Cebu. So in Cebuano, you can also greet our listeners. Ah, salamat. Uh, mayong hapon sa tanan na taga Cebu at tanan taga Bisaya at uh, katung na sa Mindanao. Mayong hapon at salamat sa pagbati ninyo dito. Tita Ingrid, tell us about your life growing up in Cebu, especially um, since your mother was your first piano teacher. Uh -huh. um, lahat, baka yung magkakapatid ay nag-aral din ng music? Uh, we were very lucky. We were seven siblings. And my mother, our mother was a pianist. She was our teacher. Mm -hmm. Lahat-lahat kami ay obligado mag-aral ng piano. Mm -hmm. Pero yung ibang mga kapatid ko, hindi masyadong seryoso. Mm -hmm. Ako lang ang seryoso at napatuloy ng uh, pag-college studies, mm -hmm. graduate ng music, at ganito. Mm -hmm. um, ano, at what age did you start your piano lessons? About five years uh -huh. old. My mother started teaching me. At yun po ba ang maire-recommend ninyong the right age to start piano lessons? Yes, mm -hmm. I would like to recommend uh, age five. Mm -hmm. Normally, maybe seven, but if uh, the parents see something special, mm -hmm. going backwards, six and five is okay to start. I see. Um, was it more difficult for you to enter the local concert scene dahil po uh, nakabase kayo? Hindi kayo nakabase sa Maynila, nakabase po kayo sa Cebu. Yung hanggang age 17, nandun ako sa Cebu. Hindi ako nakalabas ng Cebu. Mm -hmm. At uh, ang mother ko nagturo sa akin mm -hmm. sa eskwelahan niya na uh, pinangalan niya sa after her teacher, Batting Piano School. Mm -hmm. Si Sister Baptista Batting who established the music conservatory at St. Scholastica's College. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, pagka-graduate ko ng 17 years old ng Bachelor of Music, pinadala ko ng parents ko sa New York, sa mm -hmm. Juilliard School. Mm -hmm. Tapos, pagbalik ko naman ng 19 years old, na ay, nakasala ko. <laughs> Kay Joe Santa Maria, mm -hmm. na naging father mm -hmm. ng apat na anak ko, na mm -hmm. si Crispy, Cecil, Joey, at si Kathy. Mm -hmm. Si Mr. Santa Maria ay taga Manila. So, nung kinakasal kami, mm -hmm. dito na kami, kami sa Manila nagtira ah, from I age see. 20, 21. Mm -hmm. So, that's when I started playing in Manila. I see. And actually, that's when I entered the Manila scene okay. as a new bride. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, bakit po kayo uh, bumalik um, sa Cebu to be based there then? Uh, when my husband passed away, mm -hmm. almost 20 years ago, I looked back and I tried to analyze what was wrong or what was lacking in Cebu. Mm -hmm. Parang nakikita ko, Lisa, na walang uh, musician in mm -hmm. my field or in the performing arts field that had reached even a national stature. Mm -hmm. And I tried to analyze the situation. At ang uh, na-realize na ko, parang walang leader, walang teachers, walang mm -hmm. nagtuturo. Mm -hmm. At kaya naman siguro walang na-develop na mga kabataan na mm -hmm. musical. Mm -hmm. I believe that there was talent but there was no one to develop them. I so I decided to go and try to do something for Cebu. Okay, from your biography, we learned that you took a leave of absence from performing at least twice in your career at mahahabang breaks ito, like as much as 10 years. Um, bakit po ninyo ginawa? And of course, how did you keep in shape? Mm -hmm. Okay, yung unang break ko ay 1965 to 1975 mm -hmm. at nagturo ako, hindi naman music, Spanish pa naman, uh -huh. sa international school. I see. It's because I wanted to teach. Mm -hmm. And while 
I was teaching, I was fully committed to that, mm -hmm. so I was hardly practicing. Mm -hmm. But before 1965, I had had several major performances with orchestra. I had won a first prize in a national competition. Mm -hmm. I had uh, solo concerts mm -hmm. in Manila and in the provinces. Mm -hmm. So, noong araw, sa 1965, parang kung nakatugtog ka ng kanyan kadami, mm -hmm. parang marami na yun at considered concert pianist ka na. Yes. So, gusto ko naman magturo. So, nagturo ako ng 10 years. Mm -hmm. But by 1975, the concert stage started calling again mm -hmm. and I started playing again mm -hmm. and I had uh, many more playing opportunities at mm -hmm. that time.